Cyril Gaon suffered his first career loss on Saturday in the UFC 270 heavyweight title unification bout against champion Francis Ngannou. Gaon won the first and second rounds in all three judges' scorecards, but the momentum of the fight changed once Ngannou started scoring takedowns in the final three frames. During the event's post-fight press conference, Cyril reacted to his first career loss and discussed the potential rematch with Francis. Here's the clip. Uh, it was not a surprise, we knew already, uh, it was uh, one of his biggest chance to to win uh, some round and uh, he did it and he did it very well, so good job. When you game planned, uh, did, you, did you and Fernand talk about that he may try to do that a little bit? Yes, of course, that's why I told you, we knew already, uh, it was the biggest chance he had. I think today uh, I can just talk about his power. Uh, he, he really not surprised me on the striking, uh, in the Muay Thai, in the wrestling. The wrestling was not really great wrestling, it was more about the power. So I was not really surprised about all of that, but uh, he did well, he did well. If he lives like that, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't want that, I want all my, my rematch. I want to do uh, this fight in the in second time. I want this fight. I want this rematch. No, 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 no. I, I was really focused on my on my mission and uh, all the story about around uh, this fight was just the stories and uh, why it was not important for me. I was just focused on my target. And uh, no, no, no. If uh, we have a rematch, I'm gonna be focused, but I'm gonna improve on on my uh, on my uh, weakness. Francis Ngannou retained his heavyweight title with a unanimous decision victory over his old training partner early on Sunday morning in Anaheim, California. After notching his maiden title defense, Ngannou, who has been at loggerheads with the UFC brass as of late, renewed his calls to box. For unknown reasons, UFC President Dana White did not wrap the belt around Ngannou's waist as he usually does after title fights and he did not speak to the media after the fight. Francis was surprised by White's apparent decision not to wrap the belt around him. Here's what he said during UFC 270's post-fight press conference. I noticed uh, Mick Maynard uh, put the belt on you and not Dana. Was that at your request? You didn't want Dana to do that? Or what, what, why, why did that happen? I don't know. You have to ask him. <laughs> so, so you did not have anything that no, you didn't no, say, I don't want No, I do want not Dana. have anything to do about that. Okay. I think that was their decision. I'm about to ask about that too. Okay. Um, and I guess that leaves, you know, Dana doesn't come to the press conference. It makes the inference that it's something to do with you, right? So, is um, does he it make you want to the press conference? He wasn't here. No, he wasn't. Ah, okay. What? Well, I didn't know that too. What do you guys think about Dana White's actions after UFC 270? Let us know in the comments section.
To the surprise of many, the heavyweight title unification bout between Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gaon went the full 25 minutes with Ngannou implementing his wrestling to reel off a comeback win. It marked the last fight on Ngannou's current UFC deal, with the Predator recently saying he's no longer willing to fight for 500 or 600,000 and wanted a boxing crossover built into his next contract. Speaking to media during UFC 270's post-fight press conference, Ngannou discussed his uncertain future at the company and said he is willing to wait one year until his current contract expires if he doesn't make a deal with the UFC. Here's the clip. No, it's not simply money. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, money is a part of it, but it's also the term of the contract that uh, I don't agree with it. You know, I don't feel like uh, it's fair. I don't feel like I'm free. Uh, I'm a free man. I don't feel like, um, yeah, I don't feel like I've, I've been treated good. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, I have to be in this position uh, to be able to do that, to say that, but I think it's something that everybody should at least have a right to claim uh, for what's best for him, you know, because at the end of the day, we put a lot of work in this job, we uh, uh, give, um, take a lot in our body to make it happen, so uh, at least we can have a, a fair and square deal. Francis, but, will you go to the UFC or are you going to just wait for them to come to you? Well, I've been going to the UFC a lot, so I kind of like exhaust all my options. If I, if I understand right, if you don't fight until December this year, your contract will be over and you'll be a free agent next year in January? No, uh, I think so. So is it, are you comfortable with the decision that you might just not fight for a year now? In the past three years, I fought three times. So what did that mean? Once a year? So it wouldn't be something very, something strange. But is that not some frustrating to you, you know, because you're an athlete who's... I'm not frustrated about anything, my friend. I'm in peace with myself and my decisions. So do you believe it's boxing next, no matter what, even if the UFC come to you with a contract? I don't believe in anything. I don't know yet. Congratulations. You're welcome. Davison Figueredo regained the UFC flyweight title, defeating Brandon Moreno in a hard-fought, close decision at Saturday's UFC 270 co-main event at the Honda Center. Speaking to media during UFC 270's post-fight press conference, Moreno reacted to the title loss and explained why he believes he won the fight against Figueredo. Here's the clip. It's, it's weird. It's a, it's a weird feeling because... It's the first, first time in my life when I lost a decision, but I felt like I, I win, I won, you know? I mean, I remember my, my last two losses, you know, against Pantoja or against Pettis. I mean, I knew in that moment I lost. I was like, okay, this feels like shit, but I understand I lost, right? But this time I, f I felt like, you know, like I won, but it is what it is because it wasn't a really hard fight, you know. I mean, he he had uh, his own moments too, and I, I need to recognize that. I don't want to be that kind of guy who start to put excuses uh, because I I, I feel like uh, Davison did an amazing job in a, with a better game plan. So I just want to go to the gym. Just just want to go to the gym, spend time with my family, and watch the fight again and. Get, uh, be back stronger. I lost and that hurts and at the same time I love when it hurts because I can feel the pain and you know that means to me like it's important to me to evolve, be back and you know it's crazy because the, 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 door, the door is open for the fourth fight against this guy and that's amazing man. It's, uh, you know I'm just trying to be very positive in my life and I can see that possibility and start to make more um, history with these guys. It's crazy. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAmemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Chuck Norris. Second place goes to MG Wolverine. 
and the number one voted meme was posted by a user named MST. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.